kiss Carly, and I was just like butterflies and explosions, and it was perfect kiss. I'm hoping that it lasts with Carly. I really do. I would love that. I would be really happy with that. Evan and I kissed, and to me, oh, there, I, there wasn't a lot of chemistry, but that doesn't Hurts mean... Didn't lie. No, that's fine. If you feel the way you, that's the way you feel, that's the way it is. I know. My brothers told me to stop dating guys that were feminine. My first boyfriend ever now has a boyfriend. And here we are again. <laughs> Honestly, why? I just oh, I haven't talked to him a lot today. Evan does give me a rectal dysfunction. Like, he does. Like, it's so sad. I think I want to stay away from Evan today. Hey, Carly. Would you like to go on a date with me? Sure. Yes. All right, let's do this. I'm in paradise, and I was just asked on a date, and I should be feeling super excited, and instead I'm, like, pretty conflicted. Oh, I'm so happy. I've never wanted to not go on a date more in my life. I was expecting to have this like really sweet night with Carly, but Carly and I walk up to like a thousand people screaming and there's Chris Harrison. What the heck's going on? Carly and Evan, you two have a chance to make history tonight. We're in Mexico, home to one of the hottest peppers in the world, the habanero. The two of you will attempt a Guinness World <laughs> Record. The longest, hottest habanero kiss ever. Here is our official adjudicator. You will have 30 seconds to completely eat that pepper. Once you do begin the kiss, it must be continuous, and you must continue for a minimum of 90 seconds to achieve this record. I can't even handle this right now. I don't like this idea. Like, no part of me likes this idea. Why do I always get the f***ed up dates? Three... Two, one, go. That moment that I bit into that pepper, it sent shockwaves through my entire system. I just start like dry heaving immediately. And I look at her, she's crying, and I'm like, oh my gosh. My throat's closing up, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Y'all wanna help me count them down? We've just devoured one of the hottest peppers in the world, and I didn't want to let go. I didn't want to break the lip lock. I also wanted to kind of get like some of that hand action. What is happening here? What have I done? This might be worse than last time. I think I'd rather be broken up with again on the beach right now than do this. Don't give up now, guys. Don't give up. I'm uncomfortable in every possible way. I can't do this anymore. Can't do it. Can't be done. at least one minute and 30 seconds. Tonight, you achieved one minute and 41 seconds. Congrats! Did I really just break a world record? Like, wow. My mouth is on fire, and I'm not sure if it's more from the pepper or from Carly. We're going to leave these two to have a wonderful romantic day. I don't know where to go from here. Like, what do we do? I think I need to go make myself throw up or something. It's one hell of a way to end a date. But then there's no one else I would rather have to go through this experience than other than Carl. Uh, just to set the record straight, I threw up not just from the pepper. From the kiss. And we're all over my body. <laughs> Minute 46 seconds, huh? 41. 41. I got the plaque to prove it. It was perfect, yes. <laughs> it was butterflies and explosions. It's pretty cool. It was really cool. It was a, a nightmare. I was like, I have to throw up. I have to have a conversation. I didn't last night. Oh. I think last night, I was like questioning a lot of things with you and, and I just think that 
I want to be your friend. I'm, I'm not romantically interested in dating you. Um, I'm sorry. I just didn't feel a lot of chemistry. And um, I felt like a little heartbroken that I felt that way. But I, I do. And I didn't really know that until last night. Obviously, I really like you, and um, it hurts for sure. I think it definitely is hard to hear this, and um, and you know, it's, it's really tough. I'm not here for friendship. I thought maybe something special could happen. It hurts really bad, but even though life doesn't always work out, it still meant a lot to me haven't felt like how I do about Carly in a long time. I still have these feelings. I just don't know if it's like, this is it for me. Like, is this the end? I really do want to meet someone. I deserve love, but I have no idea if I'm going to find love here. I'm probably going home. This is definitely a platonic rose. I think. This feels amazing. Oh my gosh. I've got a new lease on love, and I haven't closed the door on Carly. She may have closed the door on me, but accidentally forgot to lock it. So maybe I can sneak back in. I can't wait to tell the kids about Carly. I think they would really like her. I think she would like them. And I think love is totally in the air. Well, do it again. I want to show you. Show me how you did it. Recreate it. Recreate I hate it. both of you. Come on. I guess says so much. And the last kiss that we had was a big deciding factor on us breaking up. Sometimes I'm, like, incredibly creeped out by that man. And sometimes, like, I really, really like him. I'm so confused. Thanks for coming up. We enjoyed your company until it got super awkward. <laughs> I don't feel like there's awkward in paradise. Like, you can't even, like, do that. Carly opened up something inside my heart that I haven't felt. I don't know if I've ever felt it, actually. Like, I let my guard down. She woke something that's that's pretty beautiful. Are you going to sit here? No, I'm, like, I'm letting you get up and oh. good night. I don't want to close the door to love with Carly. Please give me a hug. Please. Are you kidding me? Don't give me a kiss. Give me a hug. I won't. Just don't be, don't be weird. Okay. <laughs> it was weird because he was leaving, and he like tried to kiss me. All I wanted was for him to be normal. Nope, not good eleven. You will not disappoint. He shall be weird. What is happening with you right now? I have no idea. They say this in the radio, and you don't wake up. Wait, why did someone call you? Maybe. I don't know. They just probably call us and say that you don't respond. Did you go to sleep and then you didn't wake up? I don't understand. Evan, this is weird. What's going on? I have no way. So that's totally fine. End. I walk in and he's hooked up to these machines and he's like, fine. And I don't, I don't know if he's just trying to play it off because he's just trying to be man. I am so confused on what's going on tonight. So what can he do to be safe right now? Observation, somebody stay here right now. He is kidding to sleep. <laughs> and somebody, somebody stay here. Oh my God, can't deal with this. I mean, I appreciated the fact that I could be Evan's person in that room, but I don't know, like, what do you do when someone doesn't wake up? Like, you, what, you sleep next to them? I'm not gonna sleep next to him, I don't know. God, I don't even know what's going on. Do you remember coming downstairs? Stop. Are you serious right now? Please tell me Evan is not taking this or having me really mad. What? How? What does that mean? What did you? What was weird? Like lightheaded? 
Am I gonna have to like be in here and like monitor you? That was what's happened. Is it? Can I have a cot? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. no cots here. <laughs> I'm very attracted to weird, and there's something about Evan that's super weird, but like I dig it. And then there's something that's so terrible that I'm like, there's no way in the world. But then part of me is like, but well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> what? Evan, you can't just like hit on me right now. I'm gonna totally hit on you right now. No, you can't. You what can't. if I did? No, you can't hit on me right now. Because, no, because you're like you're in the state. No, I don't know, it, Evan. I don't know if Evan is faking, but this is the most extreme anyone has ever gone for my affection. A part of me kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really quite unsure what to do with you. <laughs>